the case of the double cross. Mean, mean, full of beans. Hope you get a hole in your jeans. Mean, mean, full of beans. Hope you get a hole in your jeans. It's old Marigold. Snitch told his brother, Wizard, and their friends, Skinny and Tubby. The boys were private eyes. They had their own clubhouse. The sign on the door said, No girls. Wizard, the chief private eye, put it up a long time ago. Marigold and Gussie and Rosie hated that sign. Each day, Marigold shouted, Mean, mean, full of beans. Hope you get a hole in your jeans. Each night, she dreamed of ways to join the club. Marigold dreamed she had a horse. She let the boys ride it. They begged her to join their club. Marigold dreamed she saved the boys from a terrible flood. They begged her to join their club. Marigold dreamed she ran an ice cream stand. Marigold gave the boys all the ice cream they could eat. They begged her to join their club, but they didn't. Marigold called Rosie and Gussie. I have a plan, she told them. Next morning, a funny little man with a long, long beard handed Snitch a letter for you and Wizard and Skinny and Tubby, mumbled the funny little man, and he ran away. I can't read it, Wizard shouted. It's in code, Skinny said. Who gave it to you? asked Tubby. A funny little man with a long, long beard, Snitch said. We have to find him, Wizard said. Let's go, men. They looked everywhere, but they did not find the funny little man. Fine private eyes we are, Wizard groaned. Hey, there he is. Snitch cried. Follow him, Wizard shouted. The funny little man with a long, long beard ran fast. The boys ran after him. Wizard passed him. Snitch bumped into him. Tubby almost grabbed him. Skinny tripped over him. He ran away from me, Snitch wailed. We have to catch him, Skinny said, and make him tell us the code. Mean, mean, full of beans. Hope you get a hole in your jeans. Marigold can help us catch him, Snitch told his brother. Wizard scowled. Get lost. What do girls know? What are you doing? Marigold asked. Get lost. Wizard snapped. If I get lost, you'll be sorry. Marigold warned him. You heard me. Wizard growled. Here's the case. Wizard told the private eyes. We have a funny little man. We have a letter in code. We can't break the code. We can't even find the man. And there are four of us, and only one of him, Tubby sighed. But he knows us, Snitch said. He gave the letter to me, and he knew our names. He's out to get us. Tubby cried. Wizard scowled. 
were looking for him. He shouted. Snitch remembered something. But he found me. That's right. Wizard cried. We will let him find us. We will set a trap. Snitch stood by the tree where the funny little man had given him the letter. Tubby and Skinny and Wizard hid behind the tree and waited. At last, they heard footsteps. It was the funny little man. The boys grabbed him. Yow! yelled the funny little man. Get off my thumb! yelled the funny little man. Help! 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 Suddenly, two more funny little men came running. Wizard chased a funny little man who chased Tubby who chased a funny little man who chased Snitch who chased a funny little man who chased a wizard. One of those men is my sister, Skinny shouted, and the girls double-crossed us. It was a trick, Wizard groaned, and we fell for it, Tubby moaned. It was our trap, Marigold snapped, and you fell into it. Gussie yelled. You said one funny little man. Wizard glared at Snitch. I only counted one, Snitch whined. Don't yell at him, Marigold told Wizard. You can't even break the code, but we can. Yikes, Wizard yelled. I forgot about the code. Marigold said we'd be sorry, Tubby reminded him. Marigold said we were full of beans, Tubby told them. They know the code, Skinny sighed. Yep, Wizard said. If we let them join our club, they will tell us the code. We will have to let them join our club. We will let you join our club. Wizard smiled. Let us what? Marigold demanded. Join our club, Tubby said. Your what? Gussie shouted. Club! Snitch screamed. Wait! Skinny yelled. I have broken the code. I can read the letter. Dear Wizard, Snitch, Tubby, and Skinny, If you can read this, you are smarter than we think you are. If you can't, you need us in your club. Marigold, Gussie, and Rosie. Skinny held the side of the paper with the writing toward the light. Now he was looking at the other side of the paper. It's written backward, he said, and he read it out loud. Hold everything, Wizard shouted. We know the code, so we don't need you. Need us where? Marigold asked. In our club, Wizard told her. We don't want to join your dumb old club, Marigold said. You don't want to what? Wizard shouted. Join your dumb old club, Gussie called out. Our what? Tubby demanded. Dumb old club.
Rosie yelled. Why not? You stepped on my thumb, Rosie said. You're dumb, Gussie said. Anyway, we are starting our own club, Marigold said. A club of their own, Wizard groaned. With their tricks and their traps, Tubby said. And their code, Skinny said. And their beards, Snitch added. We are full of beans, Tubby said. Okay, okay. Wizard gave up. We will give them another chance. You don't need your own club, Skinny said. Join ours. No. You could use our clubhouse, Snitch told Marigold. No. I will share my cookies, Tubby said. No. Wizard didn't say a word. Wizard listened. Then, Wizard yelled, Okay, okay. We will take down the sign that says no girls. Now you're talking, Marigold said. What shall we call our club? She asked. What's the matter with Wizard Private Eye? Asked Wizard. Plenty. Marigold snapped. Wizard and company? Try again, Wizard. Marigold told him. How about Wizard and girls? Snitch cried. I know, Skinny said. Let's put Wizard and Marigold together and call ourselves the Wizmars. Now that's fair. Marigold agreed. Shake, said Wizard. And they did. The Wizmars' private eyes, tricks, traps, codes, and beards. The beginning.